came from the Eiffel Tower to the City Line Kitchen. Obviously, he came from Paris. It's Chef Matt Dean Pettit. Look at the scarf. Ah, right? You knew he just had a European vacation because he walked in the studio Thank with you. a scarf. So you're just back from France. I'm feeling um, good, eh? Yeah, you're feeling good. You're always feeling good. Right? But you said you want to have a, uh, a European uh, house party. That's right. And so that's what we're going to do right now. And you're bringing us raclette. Raclette. So before we even get into the raclette, yeah. tell me about the trip. Uh, Dana and I said, let's sneak away. We did Paris for a week uh, into the Alsace region, into Champagne. Beautiful. Uh, we've never been. And, you know, as a wine and food lover, it was going back to sort of the mecca of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, bistros and, you know, Eating and just having a, a really great time. Beautiful. Yeah, it was and of fun. course, that's your fiance. My fiance. Yeah, yeah Dana. Yeah. Very we've, been, nice. we've been engaged for many years, but yes. Are you gonna do it? Are you well, gonna like? You know, it's, it's, walk uh, down the aisle, man. People actually thought I was gonna re. -pro -re Propose, yeah, uh, in France. Yeah, uh, and why didn't you? Well, you know, we've been together for a long time. It's been 15 <laughs> years. It's been 15 years. Dude, you're getting in big trouble now with a lot of our viewers. Like, tie the knot already. You're gonna we're, keep her with the ring like on this. forever. We're like this. That's okay. why you do these trips every once in a while together, Maybe and you get inspired with stuff like this. After you do the restaurant opening, that's right. The wine bar opening. Yep. That, go down the aisle. Go down okay? the aisle. All right. Now let's talk about some drinks. We're gonna talk about great, some great, drinks. Great segue in. Yeah. <laughs> you want let's get off the relationship. Sweat. Topic, my God, is it the reclet grill or is it just that I was getting grilled by Tracy? It's getting hot in here. It is getting hot. I love it. It is my job to now loosen and have some fun. So again, we we did have some amazing time there. And if you go to little bistros all throughout France, it is a cure. You always start with here. a cure. Okay. Here is a Burgundian uh, creme de cassis. So this one here, black currant liqueur, Ooh. made in Burgundy, really yeah. nice. So we're starting with a cure, starting off, very simple. So one ounce. And I will bring it up to camera here. One mm. ounce of cure. You can be a little liberal in. And I typically you're finishing it with a. Uh, typically you're going to finish it with an Aligote or a Loire Valley Sauvignon Blanc, okay. which we have here as well. And it is three ounces or four ounces of a Sauvignon Blanc from France. And that is a beautiful, beautiful cure. So it is Very as classic nice. as it comes. You can pop a little black currant in there, oh, nice. and away you go. So this is one here. Thank you. Next up, Cure Royale. Starting again, creme de cassis, mm. champagne flute. And you That's can either good. do champagne, cava, or prosecco. Very nice. Whatever you'd like, and your budget is according. But if you're in the Champagne region, you go do champagne. champagne. You do champagne. When in Rome. Beautiful. Cheers. Very nice. Thank my you. Friend. A little rock club party. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yes. it's a perfect way. All jokes aside, this is of, a way to get every party started. It really, really. is, and yeah. this is exactly it. So you start with a beautiful acidic sort of cocktail or wine throughout the night. Yes. And again, if somebody's not drinking, by all means, you can go into a nice sort of acidic juice. Um, and but this we're is going to talk a little bit about raclette. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference between raclette and uh, like French raclette and Swiss raclette, Absolutely. which I've had um, in the past. So what is the difference between the so two? So the best way to describe it, if we go here, for example, this is this is Swiss raclette that yeah. has been cut, and essentially. Swiss raclette is essentially has to be from Switzerland and in the in the Swiss Alps region. Okay. So it is an alpine cheese. It's a raw cow's milk cheese. Yeah. And if you can picture in the mountains, snowy mountain tops, the cows are grazing everywhere. In the it's it's grass in the summer, it's hay in the winter, mm. and it gives it a really herbaceous sort of style of cheese. It's really nutty, mm -hmm. and it has to be from that region. You can make raclette style anywhere in the world. We can make it in our hometowns. Got but it. But essentially, a true one is protected by AOP, which is like apparitional. Oginelle uh, Protectione. My my French is amazing, as you yeah. can tell. <laughs> I picked up really strong French skills when I was there for the five days. The fact that you can break it down is impressive enough. No, yeah, you, you don't just, have to you nail the language. You just shoot from the hip and hope for the best. Yeah. But AOP is a protection. Similar wine, yeah. similar champagne. Right. It has to be from the area. Port has to be from port. And if you're doing your own raclette party, you need the cheese, you the, raclette, the cheese, raclette, raclette, and cheese? you need one of these machines. You do. So right? raclette cheese is raclette cheese, and then this is a raclette grill. And Same how do thing. we use it? You plug it in. It's fantastic. <laughs> this is my <laughs> easiest kind of cooking as a fancy chef. This is exactly what I like. <laughs> you get everybody to do it. So you've got a little trench, yeah. and so generally speaking, about 150 to 200 grams per person. You can see all the accoutrement. I have kielbasa. We have prosciutto. Exactly. Thank you, Tracy. Mm -hmm. She's putting the raclette onto the little trestle here, onto the trench. And typically, it goes under for about two, three minutes. How and if out. you keep that under there, I love my cheese a little extra melty and a little bit, you know, got that beautiful that caramelization. Mini potato, very traditional in Swiss raclette. We've yeah. got some kielbasa here, some cold cuts. You put it on top, you grill it, and then put it under your little trench here. So, for example, please do. 
Somebody could put apple, for example. You could put fruit, and then you always top cheese, raclette, yes. and put it under the grill. This is heating from okay. the top down. All right. Um, and away you go. Now, I didn't put anything under mine, sure. but I'm going to put something. Please do. So with you can do. Now. Yeah, put a little so something on your plate here. I do a little bit of yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Let's say. We'll get crazy, Tracy. Let's have some fun. It is a party. Well, I'm going to go crazy yeah. and do spinach. Right? <laughs> Very typical. So spinach, you know, yeah. baby potatoes. Again, picture in Alpine, picture in the mountains. You have potatoes. You have sort of raw greens. They would literally over an open fire. Yeah. And they would, you know, just pour it out. Here's is a little Is there a fork. scraper? There is a scraper. You could just sort of do one of those. And so just put it right on top. Yeah, yeah. And then you just rock and roll. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, even, this is a good dinner to me. Give you, I'm Let me give tell you. A second one here. Why, thank you. Just load up on The all more that. cheese, the better. I feel greedy having it all to myself. So we talked to Dirk in the audience, and he said, Dirk, do you like melted cheese? And he said, yeah. So, yes. Dirk, you come on up here and try some of this raclette. Sure. I'm going to get you to do the whole shebang for us. First of all, have you ever had, oh, yeah. have you ever had raclette? I have not, okay. but I do love food. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> that makes sure you're allowed in the kitchen here at City Line. Yeah. Excellent. Why don't you walk him through how to yeah, do his own absolutely. little trench? So give your little trench. Got my Again, little plate. picture your little, little trench. The music's going. We have our friends here in the audience, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Trace is hosting a party, a party, and that's exactly it. You take your little trench. Yeah. If you want it, by all means. Again, you can sort of put apples and so forth. Typically, you put want to put it under. Ooh. So it's okay. We're doing this together. You know what? Maybe give him a double cheese. Put in double cheese. This yeah. is the thing of a like raclette cheese. party. Yeah. There's no real rules. Oh, it, is a it is Use your finger. It's, Use you. your it's finger. fine. Remember, okay. we've had cures. We've had maybe a beer. We've had, you know, non-elk drinks, whatever yes. it is. So, Dirk, if you could, just put this under here. I will. And this is the best style of dining when you're socializing. You're having fun. Nobody's stressing out. Yeah. And now it goes back to the party. Yeah. Three minutes later, you pull out the best little cheese thing of your life. Oh, yes. And what I would recommend, Dirk, if you want to take a couple of coutumol on here. So grab your hands. It's a party. You can use your hands. I'm going to use my hands. Prosciutto. Let, yeah, Prosciutto. you use your hands. We a were trying to be polite ham. because beautiful, you were coming beautiful up here. Beautiful, kosher dill pickles. Do you You've got that acidity. Yeah. Take your little spoon. If you put that here to show, and if you go in, like, look at what's happening here. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that little melt jamboree. Now, you can eat that however you want, and I'll do some talking, because I know what it's like to eat and talk at the same time. I'll do the same. I'll it is it the there. sort of meal that you want to share with people you like, because it can be a really beautiful, long That's meal right. with Excuse family, and I know we had a great time doing it here, as well as in Quebec from time to time. Dirk, you enjoy that. MDP, you're amazing. Thank you. Find all of his instructions and the recipes on CityLine.tv.